Welcome to Kingdom News Now. We are so glad that you've chosen to join us for another Kingdom News Now program today. This is the day the Lord has made. We love this scripture because every day that he makes a day for us, we're to rejoice in it. doesn't matter the battle or struggle or the victory. We rejoice in it because he made it directly for us, specifically for you and I. And we know the scripture teaches us he's not going to put more on us than what we can bear. So we're going to walk through this day with victory every single day. So we're glad that you joined us today for this special edition of Kingdom News Now. Uh, of course, next to me is, is my favorite mayor, uh, <laughs> Mayor Rusty Wilson. <laughs> he, he's, he's the best friend mayor I've ever had. Because oh, thank he, you. <laughs> he's the only mayor friend I've ever he had. Right. <laughs> No. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> That's right. But he is truly the mayor of Anthem, <laughs> yeah. So we are glad that he's here with us today. Thank you. And we always yes. have a great time here at Kingdom News Now. Amen. Amen. And, such, and, and uh, we love the anointing that he operates in. Uh, he operates in that anointing every Wednesday evening mm -hmm. right here. He operates in it on Sundays as well with the services, but he ministers every Wednesday evening uh, right here at Exciting Woodward Fellowship here in Anderson, Missouri. And, uh, and all. So it's a special week. Yes, it is. You know, uh, thank, giving it thanks. Yeah, oh, giving thanks. Amen. It's coming Amen. up. It's coming up next week. Yes. Today yes. is the 18th of November. Amen. And uh, and so uh, coming up next week, we're going to celebrate Thanksgiving. Yes. I love this time of year. Yes. Yes. Lots awesome of food. Time. Lots of food. Too I'm much food, but yeah. Usually, what most people think about on Thanksgiving is right. food. Yeah, um, but truth, truthfully, we ought to be thinking about the thanks that we owe God. Amen. Amen. And that's really the truth of what we need. And to one do. thing we need to remember also is that we don't wait till Thanksgiving to give Him thanks. Exactly. Because that's one thing we we've talked about this before is one thing that the body of Christ is lacking yes. is Thanksgiving to God. Amen. Amen. So Amen. that is right. You know we. Uh, uh, Every day needs to be a day of Thanksgiving. Yes, Christmas. yes. Every single day. Every time we go before God. Amen. Well, ever how many times a day that is. That's right. Needs to be a, a moment of Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Because if it wasn't for Him, we wouldn't be here. No, amen. Exactly right. You may have prayed 30 minutes ago, but if it wasn't for Him, you wouldn't be here right exactly. now. Exactly, exactly. You know, he keeps your heart beating. Amen. He keeps your life going. Exactly. And, uh, and so we're going to take a little bit of time today mm -hmm. and share just a few scriptures with you about Thanksgiving. And, and like I said, you know, this is a, a favorite time of year for many folks of, yes. of the holiday season. Amen. And uh, we always we always look forward to it because it is a special time for the body of Christ. Amen. It is. Uh, Absolutely. And, and not just because of the food, even though, you know, we've been accused of, well, I'll just leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> enjoying the food. Enjoying the food. Yeah. There you go. Sometimes we enjoy too much. That's right. Exactly. But, uh, <laughs> we need we need to give God thanks. Exactly right. And we know Amen. Christmas is coming up soon after, of course, Thanksgiving yes. and, and such and so. But we wanna we wanna take just a few minutes today mm -hmm. uh, out of your day and out of our day just to give God some thanks. Amen. And Amen. We do that best through His Word. That's right. His word. Absolutely. It, you know, uh, Proverbs four twenty tells us to attend to His Word. Yes. So attending His Word is give him being thankful to him because if we're not thankful to him Amen. who we're thankful to you know we we need to be thankful to him for all the blessings yes. and things he's given us yes. but we need to be thankful to him for his word for his word yes you know, it's amen his word that that really gives us life mm -hmm. amen we would not have life if it wasn't for his word yes yes and so we uh, we want to do that today and amen so we're read just a few scriptures mm -hmm. uh, to you in fact we're going to cover the next six days yes. of scripture. And today is Saturday, the 18th and of November. And so we're going to read a scripture uh, for this day today. And some of these are similar, yes. but there's still days for this day. Amen. Uh, you know, and, and for these days ahead over the next week. That's right. And that is day 18 is a time of thanksgiving and giving God thanks daily. Mm -hmm. uh, in King James Version, I'm going to read from the King James. Uh, Rusty's going to read from the uh, amplified. You get yes. The amplified. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, day 18, O oh, give thanks unto God's grace, unto the God of gods, 
for his mercy endureth forever from Psalms 136.2. Amen. You're going to see each scripture reference come up at the bottom. Yes. So, so you can go back and watch this again if you, if you choose to. But each scripture that we use, you'll see the reference as it comes up at the bottom of the screen. Amen. So, uh, oh, give thanks unto the God of gods. For his mercy endureth forever, Psalms 136, verse 2. Amen. The Amplifier says, O oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy and loving kindness endures forever. Amen. 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 You know, these are very similar, mm -hmm. but uh, I believe that we have to understand, and I know we love the Amplified Version. Yes. Uh, not taken away from mm -hmm. King James, but nope. we love the Amplified Version. Because it does break some other things down. Mm -hmm. It does maybe even add a few things. In yes. the sense of breaking it down and explaining a little different mm -hmm. uh, than King James does. But uh, uh, his mercy and loving kindness. Well, the loving kindness, you go back to even when Jesus came to earth. Mm -hmm. He came by love. Yes. Because he was, is he love. Is love. He is love. So you can't have Thanksgiving unless you have love. Absolutely. So one thing we got to understand is that love is priority in Thanksgiving Amen. because God is love. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow is Sunday, day 19, is, Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for his mercy endureth forever. Mm -hmm. Now, the first one says unto the God of gods. Mm -hmm. This says unto the Lord of Lords. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The, the Amplified says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for His mercy and loving kindness endures forever. Yeah. See, you know, I believe we recognize, and, and many of the world yes. recognizes God as God. Yes. They recognize God as to who God is. Amen. Now, He may not be Lord of their life. Right. But they recognize who He is. He, he is, yes. And, Amen. And so I believe that's one of the differences here between these two scriptures is, yes. is he is the God of gods. Yes. There's lots of gods throughout this world. Yes. But there's only one, one true God. True God, yes. And Amen. lots of lords. Yes. You know, lots of people make Lord make Lord of their life over other things. Become he, Lord of their life. Especially in other countries. Yes. They call someone a Lord yes. whatever, you know, and it's not being disrespectful, but it's very hard to call someone Lord because it's like now we only we have one Lord, but it's, like I said, no disrespect. But He is mercy, yes. loving kindness. So you again, in order to have the mercy, mm -hmm. loving kindness, you got Thanksgiving. Yes. So that's one thing we've got to understand is it all connects together. Amen. Amen. This would be uh, day twenty, which these are going by the days of the week. Yes. By the date of the month. Yes. So the, the 20th uh, is Psalms 140, verse 13. Mm -hmm. And that is, surely the, righteous, the, surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. Mm -hmm. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. Amen. And the Amplified, surely the uncompromisingly righteous shall give thanks to your name. The upright shall dwell in your presence. Before your very face. Amen. The, Amen. See, that breaks it down a little it bit. It does. Well. It does. You know. Now, you see, uncompromisingly. Exactly. The uncompromising. You, we, when we come to Thanksgiving, we come to love, we don't compromise with anything against God's Word. We, we, what we're doing is we're sticking with God's Word and just, just thanking Him for everything. Amen. Nothing... Nothing should compare mm -hmm. to our thankfulness and our love for God, mm -hmm. for Jesus. That's right. That's right. It's uncompromisable, you know, and, and it's un I mean, we, nothing compares to it. No, absolutely not. Uh, and, and so we don't compromise. Uh, let's go back to what we said earlier. Yes. You know, we don't go. We don't compromise. Mm -mm. Uh, our love for God throughout Amen. the early part of the year. Amen. You know, That's right. It's not the, the season. Right. Uh, you know, we, we refuse to compromise. We give thanks to God every day. Yes. Day. Amen. You know, and, uh, and some may be asking, they heard the comment, giving thanks, thanks for everything, mm -hmm. for everything He's done. Yes. The Word says, give thanks in everything. Yes. 
all time in, not for I'm in. Sure. What we're doing is giving we're giving him yes. thanks for everything he has done. done. Amen. We give him thanks in everything. Yes. But not necessarily we it doesn't say we have to give him thanks for everything. Right. Because we know everything that 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 word encompasses yes. didn't come from God. No, it did not. Amen. So so we're not, you know, we, we're not obligated to, to give him thanks for Amen. things that we know didn't come from exactly. God. Exactly. And why do we give thanks in everything? Because mm -hmm. when we thank him, we're acknowledging him, he's gonna bring us out or he's gonna bring us through. Because he is the God of God. Exactly right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Um, day twenty one. In everything, and I love the scripture, Thessalonians mm -hmm. chapter 5, verse 18. I've preached on it for years, over and over and over. And mm -hmm. Probably you have too, and Pastor and everybody else yeah. has. Oh, absolutely. Uh, in, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Yes. And the Amplified, once again, says, Thank God in everything. <laughs> now, this is exciting here. This is exciting. Thank God in everything, no matter what the circumstance may be. Be thankful and give thanks, for this is the will of God for you who are in Christ Jesus, the revealer, the meditator of that will. Amen. That is like a... <laughs> Amen. First part of that last part. In everything, give thanks, or the first part of that sentence there, you have. Thank God right. in everything, okay. no matter what the circumstance may be. No matter what the circumstance may be. Yes. We don't give God thanks or praise for the circumstance. That's right. But whatever the circumstance is, Amen. in the middle of whatever circumstance it is, it may be good or bad, but yes. in the middle of that circumstance, Amen. we give God praise. That's right. That's right. Because we're trusting God. If it's a bad circumstance, we're trusting Him to get us out of it. Amen. Yeah. Even when the, de when the devil's knocking on your door, yeah. you're giving Him thanks. The devil's like, why are you knocking on the door? Why are you giving thanks? Because I'm attacking you. Yeah. That don't matter. Right. We're Amen. not thanking Him for the attack. Right. <laughs> we're thanking Him in yeah, during the attack. During the attack. Amen. And so, you know, I believe this can be powerful in our lives. Absolutely. Every single day of the year. Amen. Amen. And again, these scriptures are not just talking about mm -mm. this coming up week. Right. You know, it's not just talking about this season of the year. It's Absolutely. It's talking about every single day of our lives. Amen. That Amen. in everything we're to give Christ. Mm -hmm. I give God for this is the will of God. Yes. Somebody said, well, I don't understand how, how this situation can be the will of God. Right. Well... First of all, I, you hear me say it all the time. I've preached it for years. Mm -hmm. Rusty's preached, I know, amen, that we get up in the morning and a good person, word says, the footsteps of a righteous person are ordered of God. Mm -hmm. And so if we are living right, we get up in the morning, mm -hmm. we get dressed, we mm -hmm. go through our day, and we are living right. We may go through the battle. I said at the beginning of this program, you know, uh, this is the day the Lord has made, regardless of the battle, regardless right. of the struggle. Right. This is that day, and we're to give thanks and praise Him for mm -hmm. it, because we're coming out of it with victory. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And so, so we are to, uh, the steps of a righteous person order of the Lord, so we He he orders our footsteps mm -hmm. Amen. right into the midst of the struggle. That's right. Sometimes. That's right. But if we will keep our eyes on Him mm -hmm. and stay focused on Him and not the circumstance. That's right. He'll ordain our footsteps right out of the battle mm -hmm. into the victory. There could be someone needing to hear this tonight. Sure. I believe the Holy Spirit's ministering that when you're asleep, you don't have any, really any care. Mm -hmm. You're not thinking about anything. But right when you wake up, yeah. that's when the devil just... Yeah. So what you, can you do? I've done this before. He attacked my mind first thing in the morning. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for what you have done. Yes. I thank you and I praise you for what you're doing now. And I thank you and I praise you for what you're about to do. Yes. What happens is the devil wants, right when you wake up, when you got he's got your, he wants your attention. Sure. He wants our attention so much. So we just, when we wake up and all of a sudden you're thinking of that bill, you're thinking of that loved one, or you're thinking about 
Oh, what about church or whatever? And you say, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you and I praise you in the name of Jesus. That is not what the devil wants us to do. But when we do that, we're like, Father, I thank you. Matthew 6, 33, once again. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Right when you wake up, you're seeking him. Thank you and I praise you. There's several different ways of seeking him. Amen. You praise him. You glorify him. You just come to Him and say, Father, even when you're asking Him, praise Him and seek His face. Amen. If He can get your first thoughts That's right. of the day. Amen. If Satan can get your first thoughts of the day yes. when you first wake up. Amen. And that's what Rusty said. Brother Rusty is telling us, you know, when we first wake up, we ought to get in the habit if we're not there. Yes. Figure out how we need to make that happen. Amen. Get in the habit of giving God praise with our first breath. Amen. Amen. With our first waking knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because if Satan can get our first thoughts, mm -hmm. he'll ruin our day. Right. He will ruin our Amen. day. Amen. Even if you don't have anything on your mind. Right. Absolutely. You just get up and say, okay, what am I going to do today? Exactly. Amen. You know, when I wake up, the first thing I see generally right. would be my what would be ceiling. If right. I had one there. Exactly. Yeah. Ceiling there. Down Amen. The room, you know? But that would generally be the first thing I would see. Yes. But that's not the first thing on my mind. No. 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 You know, that's that's not the first thought in my mind. Is, exactly. Oh, that's my ceiling. That's no, right. It's not that. But if he can, if the enemy can get our first thought, Amen. He'll ruin our whole day. Exactly right. You know. So this is the will of God concerning you. Yes. Amen. To give him thanks. That's exactly right. In everything. Yes. Amen. Day 22. Two. Yes. Whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Amen. And the Amplified, and what's, whatever you do, no matter what it is, there it is again, no matter what it is, and whatever you do, no matter what it is, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus and in, in dependence upon yes. His person, giving praise to God the Father through Him. Amen. Wow. Amen. Whatever you do. Whatever you do. Doesn't matter. Mm -mm. Amen. Do it all in the name of Jesus. Dependence. Dependence. See, that's one thing, if I may, for just a moment. Sure. We depend on a lot of things. We depend on a lot of people. But if we will just get our dependence. Yes. When you go pay a bill, you depend on Him to supply that need. Amen. When you go to your dinner table, you, de you pray to Him. You pray and say, Father, thank you for this food. You're in dependence of Him. Yes. Anytime you put dependence on God, He meets your need. Because the problem is a lot of people are depending on the devil because of what they're saying. Right. They're, yes. You can tell that they're depending on the, they're depending on him to attack them. Amen? Amen. But if we focus on Father, I depend upon you. Amen. Like I said, first thing in the morning, I depend upon you yes. in the name of Jesus. That's where the, the devil don't want to hear you say that. Amen? He wants you to focus on the worst thing. He wants you to focus, don't want you to focus on your to-do list. He wants you to focus on you got a bill to pay. Amen. You got a family to feed. You got a church to support. What are you going to do? I depend upon God. Amen. 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 Day 23. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven mm -hmm. for his mercy endureth forever. Amen. So, uh, to the first ones. Yes, amen. Ver, uh, amplified. Oh, give thanks to God of heaven for his mercy and loving kindness endureth forever. Is that, is that, know, we can't get very far away from that. No. When no. we're talking about giving thanks to God, That's we, right. we just simply can't get away from it. That's right. Uh, you know, that we are to give Him thanks mm -hmm. uh, because His mercy and thank God for His mercy. That's right. Where would you be today had it not been for the mercy of God? Amen. His Amen. mercy endures forever. That's right. You know, I preached a message one time, Lord, give me mercy, not judgment. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Don't give me judgment, give me mercy. That's right. <laughs> Amen. And, and I believe that all of us need to be thankful for the mercy of God. Amen. 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 Mercy goes a long way. Yes. Especially when it, we come 
in Thanksgiving, we need to be merciful. Sure. <laughs> but we do it with the love of God. Amen. So, you know, you, you see someone do something wrong, pray for them. Mm -hmm. Amen. We all learn in this. I mean, it's too easy to criticize them. You know, one time uh, the Holy Spirit showed me a, a person doing something. And I didn't agree with what they were doing. He, and he corrected me. He said, I didn't show you it, sh show you them to criticize them. I showed you them to pray for them. And I had to repent. Because what's one thing that you do? Automatically, judgment. That's it. And so, right. being merciful to them. Amen. Day 24. Thanks be to God. Well, again, one of my favorite scriptures. Corinthians yes. 1557. Amen. But thanks be to God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And I apologize. What are you apologizing for? I didn't get the 24. <laughs> that's all right. We can say it over that's about right. Yes, that's right. <laughs> One of my favorite Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Amen. I apologize. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We have victory. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We have the victory. Amen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Second uh, Corinthians two fourteen is mm -hmm. very similar. Yep. That says, "Thanks be unto God who always causes me to triumph." To triumph. Amen. And this one says. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory. Yes. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, 2 Corinthians 2.14. Thanks be unto God who always causes me to triumph in Christ. Amen. Our victory comes through Christ. Amen. Every victory. Every day. We're victorious only through Him. That's right. And, and so, you know, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we... Uh, victory, um, I know, I'm going to amplify it from what the Holy Spirit is saying. You know, by our faith, mm -hmm. we receive the victory. Amen. By our faith in God. Yes. So, when we, say, when we see, but thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have already been given victory when we've received Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Amen. So when we received Him, by our faith in Him, yes. we're already victorious. Amen. 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 That's right. You know, uh, and we just covered through Friday, mm -hmm. the day after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and uh, and also we need to keep these in our hearts, in our yes. minds. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, and and rehearse this over and over. Not again. Mm -mm. Not just through the season. Right. We need to rehearse these scriptures every day. Right. And and be thankful every day. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've got a lot of great things happening. Kingdom News. We've had several new guests Amen. on the program the last few weeks. Awesome guests. New guests coming in. And more awesome coming. Yeah, that's right. Awesome great guests, great. yes. Great things are happening. Exciting New World Fellowship. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's happening. Great things are happening everywhere that people will allow God to move. That's right. Period. We've got to allow him to move. If we allow him to move, Amen. great things are happening. See, and I trust that it's happening in your life, in your church Amen. as well. Exactly. Not, not to interrupt you. No, go ahead. Limitation. Mm -hmm. Okay? God is unlimited right. on what he can do. Right. But this Thanksgiving time, don't limit him in your life. Amen. Because he's unlimited on what he can do, but we've got to make sure we don't limit him in his life. Right. Amen. Amen. You know, we've got the holidays are right mm -hmm. here on us, mm -hmm. and then we've got Christmas coming up, mm -hmm. and I want to give you the opportunity yes. uh, to bless someone. You're yes. going to buy Christmas presents. You're going to buy Christmas gifts for your family Amen. and your friends and those close to you, and I want to give you the opportunity to do that today yes, uh, right. by buying and, and ordering them a coffee cup yes and coffee amen and you can do that and at the same time that you're purchasing that for a christmas gift you can know that you're that you're building the kingdom of god yes that amen you're reaching out and blessing souls all over the world that's right and uh, and so we want to do that the all the information is on the screen what you need to do and, uh, and just make the phone call uh, text to give whatever it is you need to do mm. to make that happen and uh, you can know that every dime of that $25 is coming directly to Kingdom News. Yes. 
And, uh, and so I we'll, uh, would love for you to do that. I believe whoever would receive a coffee, one of these mugs and coffee, mm -hmm. would be blessed. Yes. And they will enjoy it for a long, long time. Afterwards. Amen. That's right. And uh, uh, all of us, I've gotten coffee mugs for Christmas. Yes. <laughs> I know you have. All of us have gotten coffee yes. mugs for Christmas. Yes. And no doubt, some of you that's watching this program, you're going to go buy a coffee mug for somebody. Right. So you might as well Amen. buy Kingdom News now. Mug. Amen. And with, with the coffee. Most yes. times you don't get coffee with it. No. But with the coffee. So you can do that. Again, the information's on the screen. You can yes. follow the, the prompts and such and, and take care of that. And, and then also uh, continue to pray for us. Yes. As you do that. Yes. And, uh, Amen. And so we Amen. are excited. And we just want to say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You yes. Now to yes. You, to your family. Amen. And those around you. We trust that God is blessing you. He's going to continue to do that as you remember him yes as you are thankful to him today amen amen so that's right amen it's been a great program it has been has been we've enjoyed amen it. and uh amen um, we'd like to tell you one more time just to remind you what time it is yes if you get a coffee cup and it reminds you every day right amen it's not just a coffee no cup, it's not it's a clock and yes a coffee cup. It but, tells you what time it is. That's right. Every time you look at it. Yes. It's time, time to testify. Time to testify. Yes. Amen. Amen. So remember that today. Yes. That's what time it is. Yes. It's, it's time, time to testify. testify. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I'm Darren Kleeman. You're watching Kingdom News Now. It's time to testify. You